Hello, so this artifact is a stone axe blade and it was made by me uh, once of John. So what is a stone axe blade? So a stone axe blade is a, is a tool that was used since the stone age. The two form of axes are hand size, a tool that you can swing with one hand. And the other one is a foot size where you have to use two hands to have enough power to swing it. Um, a stone axe blade was used for either smoothing or carving out wood. It can also be used as a hoe for cultures that like to farm, such as an agriculture or a horticulture. So a stone axe blade was mostly used for woodworking, but also it can also be used for farmers in Europe that had, a, that had too much land, such as where plants and trees were all covering the space. Um, it is made out of um, different types of stone that were uh, hard, wooden, that can't break easily. And those um, rocks were of uh, flint, obsidian, and granite. Um, but when they made them, um, they were always sharp. But later on, they learned to how to sharpen the edges of the rock. Um, this stone axe blade has a lot of ethnic groups it comes to. So, um, um, the main one I focused on is Feng Yuan. Um, Feng Yuan is an ethnic group in Vinfok, and Vinfok is a place in the mountains. And it's um, again located, oh, it's 47.91 kilometers away from Hanoi. And it's surrounded with a lot of um, trees, plants, and lakes and houses that you can live in. Um, like I explained for the other one, um, Feng Yuan, um, such as it is a large place where um, it was. It started um, really small town, but once time has passed, it got bigger and bigger. Um, facts about the culture um, for um, Feng Yuan was a g name given um, by the Bronze Age in Vietnam, which takes its name from a. Um, from a site in Phong Nguyen. Um, it's 18 kilometers to the east from Viet Tree, discovered in 1958. During the time of rice cultivation, introduced to Southern China and the Red River. And typically, artifact was a stone axe blade, such as ads. How this artifact or culture changed over time? So, another, um, so Ling Phuc has changed over time to develop uh, more strategies and more things for um, tourist tourism. So, for example, they're trying to encourage the tourists to invest in the provinces and also promote the images of the book. So, um, it, so more people will visit the uh, the place. Another artifact it connects to is a mattock. It it was um which has two blades, one perpendicular to the handle and one parallel. This can connect to my own culture because in Korea, in the Bronze Age, Korea used to use a stone axe. It came from Yang Pyong Gun. It's made out of stone with a wooden handle and was used for two specific reasons. The first reason would be for digging and the other reason was to cut down trees. If people want to learn more, where can they go? Um, if people want to learn more, they can um, search up facts or images or anything that can relate to Feng Yuan or Ving Fuk. And there are multiple sites that you can visit and I guess you can get a lot more information from there. Thank you.